channel it's your girl Nintendo Diopada here if you are new you are very welcome if you are old thank you for keep on watching the my YouTube YouTube channel if you are new please remember to subscribe and join this family we promise to entertain you very well um, uh, I'm back in South Africa I think most people who follow me or watch my video can note that I was out of country and I was with my husband and work and all those things, right? Um, now I'm back and I kind of like revamp also my background as you can see, guys. <laughs> so I can look more um, like somebody who's promising, right? <laughs> So I, I have been pondering again, you know, I ponder a lot in my uh, mind and I'd like to come and then share with you guys or try to share a different perception of things or life. And again, remember I always say it's a perception, it's not um, black and white how to do the certain things. I'm not a professional uh, psycho psychology what what I am not I'm just Nintendo who have a different perception and believe that maybe her perception can also make a difference in somebody else's life so um, that's why I, I love to come here so I was uh, I would say the topic is the trait that makes a good wife right i know in your mind you're already thinking oh my god this girl is gonna talk about cooking and looking after your husband and all those good stuff that people um always say out there <laughs> and sorry to disappoint you i'm not gonna be saying those things sorry i might touch they are necessary right um it's not something that I can say can be ignored. It has been said uh, so many times, which I believe um, we have had, right? <laughs> and for those who, are, who have not had, it is very important to look after your family, to cook, to wash, to bath the kids, to just make your home a home, right? And, and I don't believe as your chores or something like that, but as a woman, you the warmth that you come with and the fact that you can create that warmth in your own house by looking after certain things, I would say keep on doing those things. So, but for me, I wanted to just tackle it in a different way as I'm uh, trying to go through my own marriage and be the best that I can be in my own marriage I thought I should also say um, share a different perception of other things so if you met your husband your fiance your boyfriend your partner right we call them different names uh, anyhow you call the person the significant other uh, I would say 
uh, don't be comfortable with how how good they are when you met them and then you worship them uh, based on those ground. I then challenge you to then look forward in terms of um, push them, like uh, take them from point A to point B. If they are good, we thank God, but is that enough? If they are so loving, we thank God, but is is that enough? Because there can be more if you can see them as, I'm not saying um, go ahead and make your home and peaceful place or have your voice heard in a certain manner that is not respectful to the next person. But I'm saying when you look at the specific significant other, uh, see potential and push them, Kuri, contend with them. Frustrate them to be better than what they already are. So take them from point A to point B. If they are a man that you met who uh, has been uh, a security guard for, 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 for just making an example, there's nothing wrong about that. Um, push them to be a supervisor. Push them to own their own security company. Kuri, with the love, with the respect, with the passion they have, look beyond that and push them to be even better so take them from point a to point b contend with them don't give them peace uh, 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 and be comfortable because they're nice and they're acceptable and all those things no they can be more they can be a ceo they can be they can have that pitch phd they can have that degree if they if you as a wife can have those kind of traits where you push your husband, your partner to another level, right, in life. It's, I think it would be a nice or a very um, a beautiful home where you content each other to be better. And if you end businesses, you content each other to have even more businesses, right? And if you are having a degree to have even more degrees, if you don't, to make sure they have... By the way, while you are also doing that, right, uh, to also uh, also show some of the traits, right, you have to be also doing the same for you. I also believe if you then have a good partner, as we said, you will be, he will be also contending you to be the best, better person. So I would say at that uh, point, you should be also contenting your, uh, your own life. And by the way, before I even, even get anywhere else, but uh, if you are a person who don't know who they are right and they are not present and they don't know whether they're going or coming they just there to be comfortable you might not be able to give this thing this uh, uh, perception that I'm, I'm, I'm pushing to to be able to give the next significant other because you need to be aware of who you are you need to be comfortable of who you are you need to understand who Kuri, you are not going to be defined by what people are saying. Yes, that can be an add-on in our own life. But at the same time, I believe you can be better by being aware and, and, and be there. Like, be there and also look after yourself, right? And again, uh, that other good trait, right, of being a good wife is, is that you are an individual who have vision, right? Have perception. You see yourself. Uh, as the, the what is the uh, how do I put it so the next person when they come into your life they're not coming to make you happy they are just coming as an add-on you are a full function human being who is aware and again I think also when you're very spiritual because I am I know I don't say much about uh, my spiritual life but I believe when a woman is shadowed by God it's, it's even even 10 times even better right to deal with life and to take life from point A and point B. And again, when it comes to also parenting, when you are under the influence of God, <laughs> you happen to be a relative of what God is directing the family to and where he wants us to be, things like that. So you just, you just don't do things because another family is doing or other people who are married to certain people, they're doing it this way. You actually do it because you are also guided by the Lord. Again, you, I can't remember the scripture. You know, I was also thinking of a scripture where it talks about 
uh, some men they, they rather stay on top of the roof instead of coming into the house right paraphrasing um it shows that a eh, there's women out there who their home is not a home to actually comfort it's not a home where people they look forward to come home to because you want your opinion to be heard you want guri things must be done according to your understanding and your perception you can't let go of things you have to guri kuba ne chaos at home because somebody wants to be heard so you don't want to be that kind of a woman you also have to be somebody who is comfortable and as i'm saying when you are present guys guys you will even make better decision you know when it's necessary to have a conversation or even shout if you want to shout but you also know when to not even consider to have such conversation or just forgive before they even ask for forgiveness to create that warmth of a home for yourself right and then don't Kuri, don't don't want to be uh, there's a, don't be a nagging wife right because you want to be heard Kuri yonki into you repeat a thousand times and it doesn't change anything you've been repeating for the past 10 years of your marriage or one year of your marriage or one week of your marriage you've been repeating so are you willing to repeat for the next 100 years or you are going to just accept that other things are not necessary we you just brush them off you know even at work when you're in the office right you don't um sit around and try to convince and all those things you you understand this is work they don't mean to hurt you or if they don't understand you just let it go quickly so i think we should be even be doing better in our own homes which is another good trait right to acknowledge your, your to acknowledge your family as the most important thing a place or important thing of your life where you consider to even let go of unnecessary argument but make a most peaceful home or for yourself and for your kids right so i just thought let me just come and share my thoughts i don't want to make a video to be too long i hope i was not blabbing <laughs> or going back and forth not making sense i hope i was making sense but I'm, all i'm trying to say is that if we met each other from point a let us be in a year time in two years time or 10 years later 100 years later we are 10 times or 100 times better than where we are because of how we approach the whole thing on of how we also uh, so beyond because seeing and be comfortable people they they don't really change to um hurt you but we change with life with growth with experiences with exposures we do change and not stay the same as we were when you met us or things like that but nahana if you met them as 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 they are good people or they are loving on all those things and then you push them to grow you push them to become even much much better than what they were how comfortable of life you will be in the next hundred years so think about it you have nothing to lose uh just go ahead and look into it and try to make your home a home right not a home where it's a court case it must be resolved and all those things no ways a home where they know they are forgiven they are welcome and it's comfortable this joy peace and love right thank you so much for watching i appreciate you guys watching my video uh do have a good day or a good night whatever time you're watching it do have a good of that time right uh i see you next time remember to subscribe guys bye